Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do a review on the new Chanel CC Cream. This is a reformulated release of this product. So this has been existing in the Chanel lineup for a very long time, uh, but they recently kind of re-released it, reformulated it. So we're gonna be talking about that. And I've worn this a couple of times now. So this is going to be a review on top of a full day wear test. So if you're interested in hearing more about the CC Cream from Chanel, then just keep on watching. So there's been a lot of uh, kind of back and forth and kind of unclear information about this reformulation. I don't have the old CC cream, so I, when I went and purchased this in store at the Chanel uh, boutique in Caesars at the forum shops, um, I was told that they upped the SPF and I was told that they made this a much creamier kind of a formula. The previous CC cream apparently was a little bit uh, maybe thicker and drier, and this one is supposed to be more emollient, more creamy. In terms of the SPF, I've heard that the SPF is the same from other people, from people who have had the CC cream, from a friend of mine that actually works at a Chanel counter out in California. He said that, nope, the SPF has always been 50. So I'm just passing this information along to you. I have no idea like what, what the situation is, what the deal is, but I was also able to get a little bit of information about this new formula. I don't know what aspects of this is new, but this is what is in the new CC cream. So there's one super active ingredient. It's the Moringa Plum. It is rich in powerful antioxidant molecules. It protects the skin barrier and it improves skin texture and natural radiance. And it also contains a new generation hyaluronic acid, more easily assimilated by the skin than standard hyaluronic acid, it reactivates skin's natural hydration. So there's also five quote unquote superpowers. One, it's super unifying. So it's supposed to help your complexion look more flawless. It's super moisturizing. Uh, 12 hour hydration, skin recovers suppleness and comfort. It's super corrective uh, in terms of wrinkles and fine lines. Skin looks smoother and replumped. Super protective. SPF 50, PA plus, plus, plus. So three pluses. The skin is protected from environmental aggressors and pollution and a super glow booster. Natural skin radiance. Skin looks rested and healthy. All right. So those are all the details I was able to gather in terms of this newly reformulated CC cream. Uh, but I purchased this again at Caesars. It comes in this box and it is one fluid ounce. I don't think the packaging has changed at all. I think it looks the same, but if you guys have used the older CC cream, definitely comment down below, educate us, please. Let's let's get the conversation going because I feel like companies, especially like Chanel, they're very kind of like tight-lipped about what has changed and like, you know, like what is going on and like why they did these things. They just sort of like, new and they don't really talk about it. So anyway, let's get the conversation going. Let's share some information, but let me go ahead and apply this. So if you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Michelle and I am 44 going on 45 and I have extremely dry skin. I suffer from eczema, which has calmed down a lot over the past couple of years now that I'm getting older. It's like one of the benefits of getting older. And I personally generally like foundations that have a light to medium coverage. I like uh, foundations that have a little bit of radiance to them. So I actually have a Chanel foundation brush. I purchased like a brush kit over the holidays and this was one of the brushes in there. So this is called the Fluid and Powder Foundation. I think you can buy this on its own, but it's synthetic haired and it's just this sort of uh, angled flat top kabuki. So I'm gonna be using this. When I played around with the CC cream earlier this week, I had tried like a sponge. I tried just my fingers. I'm just not the biggest fan of that. And with the sponge, I think that's just kind of preference, but because you always end up using a sponge damp, um, I feel like that affects um, how you'll see what the coverage is actually like. So I thought I would just go ahead and use a brush, which has always been my applicator of choice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spread some of this out on the back of my hand. And here is the texture of it. You can see that it's just ever so slightly running down the back of my hand. So it is a little bit liquidy, but not, not much. It's very, it's just kind of like a lotion. It has that kind of texture. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start dabbing this uh, on the right side of my face here. We'll start there. And this has that Chanel fragrance to it. So if you're familiar with that, you're not gonna be surprised or shocked. So if you're not into fragrance at all, just keep that in mind. So I'm gonna go in with my brush and I'm just gonna use some short strokes here. Spread this out a little bit. And I should mention that uh, when I do foundation reviews, I don't use any primer because I wanna see how the foundation acts all on its own, but I have moisturized my skin. So I do have moisturizer down on a clean face. 
I, uh, I also, I'm sorry, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I have this in the shade 20 beige, and I also did not mention that it's about 8.30 in the morning. I'm just mentioning that because we're gonna be doing like a full day wear test. So there is a light layer on my face. You can see, <laughs> you can see where I stopped uh, applying it, especially on my forehead. My forehead is much darker than the rest of my face. Um, but there it is. This actually has a pretty radiant finish, much more radiant than I was expecting, especially, I guess the reviews or anything I had heard about the CC cream was about the previous version. And I think that was a lot matter and a lot more drying. So anyway, I was a little bit surprised at how emollient and how radiant this uh, CC cream appears on the skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish applying it to the rest of my face here. So another thing I don't like to use when I'm doing a foundation uh, full day wear test for you guys is I don't generally like to put a concealer on because again, I really wanna just see how the foundation does kind of all on its own. So I feel like I need just a little bit more coverage around my eyes. So I'm just gonna squeeze out a little bit more here and just dab that on my eyelids here and underneath my eyes. All right, so there it is all over my face. You can definitely see how radiant it is. Now that I'm kind of taking a close look at this, I'm, I'm being reminded that I feel like this actually has a bit more radiance to it than the Clay de Peau Radiant Cushion Foundation. I feel like this falls in between, in terms of radiance, in between the Clay de Peau Radiant Cushion Foundation and the Clay de Peau The Foundation, the one in the jar. This has a lot more uh, going on. This is definitely more radiant than the Le Beige Healthy Glow Moisturizing Tint. I find this to be more radiant than the Chanel Sublimage Le Tint, the one that comes in the jar, the big uh, tub. Definitely more radiant than the Vita Lumiere Aqua. That one definitely has more of like an uh, like a velvety, like almost matte kind of finish. So this is the most radiant uh, Chanel product, base product that I've used so far. Because this is such a radiant base, I'm gonna go ahead and use some loose powder. So I have my Chanel Natural Finish Loose Powder. I have it in the shade 20 Claire Translucent. And I have my trusty Chikahoto Z1 Powder Brush. And I'm just going to tap a little bit out and start to pounce that all over. All right, so I have a nice light layer of loose powder all over. You can see that I still look pretty radiant around this part of my face. I think I think the camera's picking that up and I still have quite a bit of radiance kind of all over my skin. You can really see that kind of peeking through. So I'm gonna put on the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna keep it light because again, I don't really wanna detract from the foundation and I will be right back. All right, I'm back. So I just put on some blush, some lipstick, uh, eye makeup, obviously. Oh, I didn't do my eyebrows. <laughs> All right, so I just finished off my look with just some very simple makeup. I didn't put any contour or bronzer on or highlight or anything. I didn't wanna put anything kind of like all over my face to interfere with the CC cream. So anyway, I'll have uh, all the details of my makeup down below in my description box as I normally do. So I'll be back at around lunchtime to check in with you guys and show you how the CC cream is wearing at that point. So I will see you then. Hey guys, it's about noon right now, so I thought I would do a check-in before I chow down on some lunch. So let's start with a close-up. We'll start with my forehead and pan down. And you can take a close look as to what is going on. If you wanna sort of pay attention to my under eyes, cause I wanna address that. I don't think they're looking spectacular, which is interesting. So just to mention again, I didn't put any concealer around my eye area. I really wanted to see what the foundation does sort of all on its own, but I do have a light layer of loose powder on, and I feel like my under eye area uh, looks a little bit uh, like the lines are being emphasized a little bit. The product is definitely kind of sinking in. I feel like it's doing a weird kind of caking up over here under this eye. So I'm not terribly happy with that. I also want to address the overall finish and definitely the feel of this. So I don't know if if this will come across on camera, but I do feel like the radiance is starting to fade. I do feel like this product is starting to kind of like, like dry down a little bit. Like I, it's still very comfortable on the skin. I, I don't feel like I can feel it, but I can definitely tell that I don't feel like it's kind of like continuously nourishing my skin. I don't 
feel like there's a lot of emollients left. I feel like the CC cream is just there. It's just sort of doing its thing, but I don't, I don't necessarily feel like it feels like great. Like I feel like I'm putting a skincare product on my skin. So, so far it's okay. Um, just to compare it to the Clay de Peau Radiant Cushion Foundation, only because I just spoke about that most recently. I feel like that one kept its finish. It really didn't alter too much throughout the day. In fact, I don't think it altered at all. Uh, and I feel like the coverage stayed the same. The coverage for this uh, particular CC cream is fine. I don't think it's faded at all. I don't feel like the oiliest part of my face, like the tip of my nose here, I don't feel like any oil is kind of like broken through. So none of that is happening. I'm being, you know, very ultra picky right now. I do feel like my under eyes don't look that great. And I do feel like it's kind of drying down a bit. So I am definitely curious to see what this looks like and how it feels by the end of the day. So I will see you then. Hello everyone, it is about five o'clock in the afternoon. So here is my final check-in and I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on this Chanel CC cream. So I do wanna just do a, a close up now and just pan down from my forehead to my chin as I normally do. And I just wanna point out along my forehead here, I hope the camera can pick it up. I'll try and get in real close but I am seeing the foundation break up a little bit here uh, along my hairline. And I haven't done anything terribly strenuous today, so I don't, I haven't broken out into a sweat or anything. So I don't know where this is coming from. Uh, my under eye situation is pretty much the same as from my initial check-in. I feel like the fine lines are emphasized just a little bit and I feel like uh, it's picking up on a little bit of texture here or I don't know, or creating texture, I should say. Uh, but everywhere else, it looks fine. I think it looks fine. I don't feel like it looks any drier than it did at my first check-in. I think I had mentioned that from its initial application, I feel like it did dry down a little bit, and I was afraid that it was just gonna kind of continue to get drier and drier. That's not the case. It just sort of dried down, and that's it. And now we're just at a very comfortable state. So it is very comfortable on the skin. It is not doing anything weird around my nose or mouth area, so that is good. And I don't feel like the coverage has faded. I feel like it still looks very, very good on my skin. Uh, so where it has kind of acted a little bit strange is areas on my face that is a little bit drier. So my forehead is a little bit drier than the rest of my face. Um, and my under eyes are definitely drier than the rest of my face. Uh, it seems to have held up around my oilier areas very nicely. So my initial thought was that this CC cream probably is not great for oily skin because it was so radiant when I put it on. It felt so emollient, um, but it really did kind of dry down, uh, like I mentioned in the first check-in, and it is wearing really well around my oilier areas. So I'm gonna say that this CC cream is probably great for all skin types, um, but if you have like textured dry skin, it may not be great for that uh, because I did notice a little bit of that. It's not gonna stop me from wearing the CC cream you know, the things that I'm pointing out to you, I'm being very, very nitpicky. I'm being very, very hypercritical. I mean, I'm really like inspecting my face. And I think for everyday wear, I think when I'm like talking to someone, it's not gonna be something that's noticeable. So I do really, really like the fact that this has an SPF 50 and that's what's gonna kind of keep me like motivated to keep putting this on because, you know, I do live in a very, very sunny area. So I do like the fact that it has an SPF 50. I think this this has most, if not all, of my tinted sunscreens beat in that department. Like the Sisley one that I really, really love is SPF 30. The Chantecaille, the other Chanel that I use, uh, the La Mer Reparative Skin Tint, all have an SPF 30. 30, I believe the Chantecai may have less actually. So the SPF 50 in the CC cream is a very, very big plus. So those are my thoughts on this CC cream. I really, really like it. I don't know if I'm like blown away by it. I think it's very nice. What will get me to continue to use this is that SPF 50. So I hope you enjoy this video. Please let me know if you have any questions down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video.